Welcome to Lunex University. Good morning, everybody. It's Teja from ISM here, reporting on behalf of the Lunex University Sports News Channel. Today, our program is to explore the student perspective on different subjects within sports sociology. What we as a news channel are mainly interested in is the relevance of sports within our economy, health, family and politics. Mainly, we're trying to find out how and why our students view sports as relevant in our modern society. Within the Lunex University, sports is already incorporated into daily life. But for today, we'll be questioning this phenomenon. So stay tuned to the channel to find out some more. I guess we'll find our first victims inside. So, I think I found my first two interviewees. Let's go. I can't stand for stopping winning anymore. It's, it's Hello so there. Hello. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hello. Would you be interested in an interview about sports sociology? Yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Okay, great. I mean, what, what were you talking about, if I may ask? Is F1. It F1. Oh, yes. wow, wow, F1. Okay. So, f first of all, how did you get into Formula One? Is it your favorite sport, or do you have any family ties? Well, um, I'd say that um, I really liked F1 since I was a kid. I just like cars going fast, so I guess that makes sense. F1 is the like, pinnacle of motorsport, and I really like it. It also makes a bit of a different car uh, like personality from yeah. someone that likes football. I like everyone in the school just likes football. I want to be different, you know? Yeah. And what about well, you? for me, it's a little bit different. I always saw my dad watching Formula One uh, since I was a kid. So uh, I always have that love and that passion. But like only five years ago, I started to be more active on, on the sport. So, yeah. So many thanks for your answers and sharing your opinions on this topic. It was a great discussion and uh, hope you have a nice day. We'll be moving on. Hello there. Would you be interested in answering a few questions about health in our sports society? Yeah, for sure. So do you think that there are many common types of injuries in tennis and how can they be prevented and made aware of in society? Uh, well, there is, there is a thing called tennis elbow. And oh yeah, I've, I've heard of it. Yeah, so it's when you play a lot and for many, many years and it's the constant movement of the arm that just damages the elbow. So that's why you need to get looked at and it can be prevented by seeing a physician or by seeing medical advice and then there's a there are like creams or um, some sort of substances which help you re reduce the pain and the strain of the okay. elbow. Oh, well, many thanks for your replies. So uh, it was nice speaking to you. Hi. You're back. Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. Uh, okay, so for the last interview of the day, we thought it would be a good idea to interview the interviewer. Oh, so wow. Teja Yes. Is there any sport that you're particularly interested in or take part in? There is. There's MMA, mixed martial arts. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a pretty new and blooming sport. It hasn't been around for that long, but... Um, yeah. Oh, very nice. So, regarding MMA, we have some more in-depth questions that we'd like to ask you. The first of which, how do political decisions in MMA impact the fans and the overall growth of the sport? Oh, so there's, um, there's two main political decisions in MMA. There's the legalization. For many regions in the world, MMA is still not le uh, legalized. For example, in France, um, there's still political opposition towards the sport. It was only legalized in 2020. And there's also many legal and political policies about doping. That's also a huge issue in the sports development, for sure. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, before we go, we have actually a gift for you because uh, we, two gifts for you, two gifts. You're lucky you. because we really liked your interview and your attitude in bringing an activity of this kind to the school. So the first gift is the Lunex T-shirt. The second gift is a bottle of wine. It's from Sicily, my home region. So I hope you will like it as, as well as the Lunex T-shirt. So, I'd like to give a special thanks to all the participants for this pleasant interviewing experience. See you in the next episode then. Adios. Bye -bye.